Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the battle bit remastered is having audio or sound is not working or it's getting crackling, distorted and popping audio issue which is happening for few users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you can start with restarting the steam and that's what you can try out the basic step. For this we just need to go over here at the top, click on this icon, go for exit. So right now as you can see you are exiting from the steam. Once you completely exit from the steam, you have to wait, you have to do a refresh couple of times. Now go back to the steam, now open it once again. So it will take a little bit of time, so you just need to go for it and wait for this to get completed. And once the steam open up it once again, you can try launch the game. That is you can try the battle bit remastered once again and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is the first and basic step which you can try out. Now as you can see once you open the steam, this is how it looks like. So you have to wait unless it get completely logging, uh, loaded up. Like this will be le logging in back once again and logging in back once again. And once you're done with this one, you have to go over here in the library. Now from here go to the battle bit remastered and now try launch the game. This is what you have to do. Next one is nothing but we have to check the volume mixer. This did work it so many users end up in having this issue. So go over here in this icon of the speaker just click on this one. Now from here go to settings you can go for settings over here. Go to the sound and over here as you can see the volume should be 100 percentage. If the volume is muted like this will not be able to hear any voices so you have to make sure the volume both over here in the output and input should be set into 100 percentage and this should be set into 100 percentage once you set this to 100 percentage you have to make sure that once you set this to 100 percentage you have to close this and go back and see whether it's worked or not or we have to move to the next step next step is all about we need to select the right audio device that is an important step as well for this just go over here in the icon over here once again or you can go to the settings. Now from here go to the sound once more and as you can see there are two options you can select the speaker over here. So you have to go back and as well as if you check on the microphone you can check over here as well. So you have to select the respective one. So uh, for uh, recording and all those things you can select the respective one. So if you are on the speakers you have to select the real one. Realtek R audio is in my case it is both Realtek R audio. So you have to select the appropriate one for this and once you set this to appropriate audio devices and you can check with this and whether the issue is solved or not. Or else we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to run the audio troubleshoot. For this we just need to go over here in the same. Just go to over here in the settings. Just go for settings over here. Now from here go to settings and now go to system. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to troubleshoot. Now from here go to other troubleshoot. And from here you have to see there will be an option called audio you just need to click on the run and this will be cross checking whether you are going through any kind of issue or not. So if they are going through any kind of issue they will be uh, working it out so you just need to run the troubleshoot over here in the audio and also you can do the troubleshoot if you find anything doubt. So if you find anything doubt over here on the windows update you can go for it as well and cross check whether they are going through any kind of troubleshoots whether they are going through any kind of issues so that will be fixing from their end. Once you cross check the troubleshoot and still the issue is persisting we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to select the sound sample rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz in the control panel. So I will be showing you this. So how to do this. So just go over here in the control search over here. Now go to the control panel. Now from here we have to go for hardware and sound. Now from here we have to go to hardware and sound now select the sound or you can go over here and select the speaker right click and go to the properties now go to spatial sound not the spatial sound you can go over here add to the advanced now from here there are many options if you check this you can see there are 16 bit 4400 hertz 16 bit 4800 hertz 24 bit 4400 hertz and even 24 bit 4800 hertz we can either keep to 24 bit 4800 hertz or you can keep to 24 bit 4400 hertz. Keep this to any one of the thing and once you set this up you can click on this OK and go to the next step and see whether the issue is solved. If the issue is still persisting we can do the same we have to turn off the spatial sound. So I will be showing you the same process. Go over here in the control panel. 
go to the hardware and sound select the sound from here you have to select the sound right click over here and go to the properties go to the spatial sound if it is turn it on you have to turn this off this is an important step if this is turn it off you have to i mean if it is turn it on you have to turn this off now go for apply and close this everything and go back and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to disconnect and we have to disconnect the controllers and we have to start it once again that this did work out for many uses even i mentioned in many steps in many videos so just click on the play button but you'll be getting the error sometimes the controllers can be an issue so just remove everything from there you can remove everything once you remove everything now launch the game after game is successfully launched just connect it back and try launch the game and this did work out for many users as well next one we have to select or we have to select or disable the oculus voice meter for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the control panel go to the control panel go for hardware and sound now go to the sound now as you can see we are only having the speakers because i don't have oculus so if you have the oculus you have to disable it from here you have to disable it like this select this and select the oculus and disable it once the oculus is disabled you have to close this and go back and try launch the game as well so for few users this did work it as well you can try this out next one and the last not the last one but you can also try to move step that is one among them is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for this just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties now from from here go to install it files and now from here click on verify integrity of game file so you need to wait for this because this should be cross checking every single files of a game that if they are corrupted or if they are going through any kind of issue this will be cross checked every single files and if there is an issue this will be letting you know that there is an issue so you have to take the actions so as you can see there are 144 files right now and all of them is successfully validated which means there is no issue with this now close this and move to the next step next step is the last step which you can try out that is all about we have to install the audio driver for this just go over here right click and go to device manager go to the device manager now from here we have to go to the audio you can go to the audio over here if you find anything over here in the audio you can check whether it's all there so if you're on the sound you can see that as intel r realtek r audio is my driver so i have to check for update the driver if any updates are there just update the driver or you can also cross check whether the driver is up to date or not so most probably when you do this up it will be get letting you know that if the driver is up to date you're fine with this just update the driver or else you have to do the necessary and if you find any unwanted things over here you can remove it as well and that did work it for users a few users as well so these are the possible workaround which you can be tried out when you are having an issue with battle bit remastered is having this particular issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon next video peace out bye bye